Get ready to witness some of the most flashy footballers in the world. From custom Lamborghinis to multi-million dollar properties, these players spare no expense when it comes to living the high life. Adebayor might have retired from professional football, but he's still scoring big off the pitch with his stunning mansion. With his custom-made pool table and a massive indoor home cinema, he's got everything he needs for a game night with the lads. And let's not forget about his home gym and huge outdoor swimming pool, keeping him in shape for when he wants to show off those impressive abs. Well, Adebayor, we're impressed. Maybe it's time to start a new career as a tour guide of your incredible mansion. We'll bring popcorn and cue sticks. Speaking of impressive show-offs, another footballer who's no stranger to flaunting his wealth is none other than Cristiano Ronaldo, and his car collection is something to behold. Cristiano Ronaldo and his jaw-dropping £18 million garage of supercars, that's just flashy in the most CR7 way. We're talking Bugattis, Ferraris, McLarens, Rolls Royces, you name it, he's got it. Ronaldo's collection is so extensive that he's got two of every single brand of car. And his favourite make? You guessed it, Bugatti. The limited edition Bugatti Cento Dieci is worth a staggering 8 points. 5 million pounds. Only 10 people in the world own this supercar, and Ronaldo is one of them. Talk about exclusive. Yeah, talk about exclusive. Neymar is not of this world. He doesn't need roads. He doesn't need highways. He doesn't even need a chauffeur. Nope, he's got his own fleet of baby jets to take him wherever he pleases. Why bother with the mundane task of driving when you can fly, right? With a net worth that rivals some small countries, is no no surprise that Neymar can afford not one, but two private jets. The guy spent $10 million on his first executive 12-seater plane in 2015, and then casually dropped another £6 million on a second one in 2016. And let's not forget about his Instagram account, where he shamelessly flaunts his wealth for all to see. Talking of Brazilian footballers who love to show off their skills, no one can match the swag of Ronaldinho. Watching Ronaldinho play was like witnessing a magician perform tricks with a football. He bossed the field with such finesse and confidence that even the opposition would be left in awe of his Yoga Benito skills. In fact, Ronaldinho's skills were so mesmerizing, they should have come with a warning label. Watching Ronaldinho play may cause excessive jaw-dropping and awestruck paralysis. No doubt, the flashiest player to ever step on the field. The next on the rostrum is none other than Balotelli, whose haircuts were so flamboyant they made peacocks look plain. But but Balotelli didn't just stop there, he also had a flair for getting parking tickets. He had such a talent for collecting them that the local government probably considered putting his face on the tickets themselves, and when the police found him with a wad of cash after crashing his car, Balotelli's explanation was so typical of him. It's because I'm rich. With Balotelli, it was never just about the football. He had a knack for making even the most boring things, like parking tickets, an opportunity to show off. But while Balotelli flaunts his haircuts and stacks of cash, Ibrahimovic prefers to show off the forest that he owns in Sweden. When Zlatan gets bored, he doesn't wait for his turn in the queue of a park, but he goes skiing in his forest. Yep, you heard that right. He has his own skiing resort in his backyard that he bought for a whopping $16.5 million. But skiing isn't the only activity that Zlatan indulges in. When he's feeling particularly adventurous, he likes to go hiking, fishing, and even hunting in his forest. Rumor has it that when Zlatan goes into his forest, the bears hide from him. And Zlatan's former United buddy isn't far behind in show-off skills. With a luxury jet worth £23 million and a collection of the world's most expensive cars, including a McLaren P1, Lamborghini, Mercedes, and Rolls-Royce, he's definitely not shy about flaunting his wealth. He's like the James Bond of football, cruising around in his Bentley, Maserati, Audi, and other high-end rides. But wait a minute, the next one could be the car lord of football, Aubameyang. The flashy footballer is a car lord with a fleet of supercars that includes four Lamborghinis, three Ferraris, and an Aston Martin DB9, among others. But that's not all. He also indulges in expensive jewelry, often sourcing unique and bespoke pieces from high-end specialists all around the world. 
Aubameyang's love for bling doesn't stop there. He's been spotted wearing two Cartier bracelets worth around £30,000 each, along with a diamond-encrusted watch that could easily be sold at the diamond store. Unlike Aubameyang, Beckham is fond of showing off his love for art. His entire collection is love-themed, which is ironic because spending almost $44 million on paintings, portraits and sculptures is a love affair of its own. But let's not forget his love for Elvis Presley memorabilia, which reportedly cost him $46,000 a day. It's a good thing he doesn't talk about it or people might start hiking up the prices. Get ready to be amazed by Benzema's extravagant lifestyle. His $5.5 million mansion in Madrid boasts of a gym, sauna, Turkish bath and an outdoor pool with an expansive garden. Not to mention the trophy room that showcases replicas of all the trophies he's won in his career, including 24 at Real Madrid alone, five of which are Champions League. He even has a large closet to hold all of his designer clothes and an emerging shoe collection as he's Fendi's brand ambassador. Elsewhere, Jack Grealish's rise to fame in the football world has been nothing short of freakish. With his record-breaking $122 million transfer from Aston Villa to Manchester City, he has solidified his position as one of the most expensive players in Premier League history. But it's not just his bank account that shows off his wealth. Grealish also boasts a collection of flashy cars, including a $150,000 Mercedes-Benz S-Class Coupe and a $40,000 BMW 3 Series. He's also the proud owner of a white $100,000 Range Rover Sport, which he unfortunately crashed during the COVID-19 lockdown. Likewise, Vinny Jr. owns a multi-million dollar mansion in Madrid. His favorite part of the house is his closet, where he holds 100 pairs of shoes, including ultra-rare Air Jordans. It's safe to say that if you want to be Vinny's friend, you better have good sneaker game, or at least a serious appreciation for shoes. Talk about Martin Braithwaite. In 2017, he co-founded, with his uncle Philip Michael, the real estate investment firm MYCE Companies. He sure knows how to make some MYCE investments. He's a real estate tycoon with a net worth of a whopping $222 million. Not only that, but he's also helping to bridge the millennial wealth gap by building affordable homes in developing areas and creating an app that allows anyone to invest in real estate. Looks like he's bringing a little bit of that American dream to Denmark. Who knows, maybe next he'll be running for president. Well, 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 looks like Griezmann is quite the family man. Not only does he have three kids, but they were all born on the same day. Talk about planning a Head. And with all those little ones running around, it's no wonder he needs a massive mansion with six bedrooms and bathrooms. Plus, let's not forget the private gym, Olympic-sized swimming pool, football field and basketball courts. He's basically got a mini sports complex in his backyard and don't even get me started on the lush garden. Perfect for those family picnics and gender reveal parties. All in all, seems like Griezmann knows how to ball on and off the pitch. The last one is the World Cup King himself. Despite his lightning-fast speed on the field, it seems Kylian Mbappe prefers to take things a bit slower when it comes to his choice of wheels. You might expect the soccer superstar to zip around town in a flashy Lamborghini or Ferrari. It turns out Mbappe is more of a Volkswagen guy. He's personalized some of his cars, including a souped-up Volkswagen Tiguan SUV and the all-electric Volkswagen ID4. The guy just likes to boast in an old-fashioned way. Okay, okay, that's it for today. While you're at it, please like the video if it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos we post. We'll catch you in the next one.